Welcome back to the Renegade Report, and this is Kenny Calvin, last of the Bowser Boys, former general in Chudy's Army. And guess what? Got lucky enough to have the general, Coach Chudy, here. How you doing, sir? Doing great, man. Doing great. A little bright. Got the Beautiful. overcast going. Beautiful spring weather that we got. <laughs> Clean air. Cleanest air we've had in a long time. It's been a blessing for sure. Absolutely. Well, Coach, anytime I get to chop it up with you, it's a blessing. You know, it's a small opportunity for us to go down memory lane. You you came down the hill and you're like, what the heck is Kenny doing? You're taking this a little bit too serious with your gear. <laughs> hey, whatever floats your boat, man. Hey, it's Coach, all good. You know, I, I get goosebumps coming to this place. I had to come right and correct for the <laughs> last show on Memorial Stadium Field. So, Talk well, about. last natural grass show, right? Yes, last natural grass show. Which, looking at the condition of the grass, it's a good thing that we're getting rid of it now. <laughs> we, we talked about some of the upgrades in the last session with Stan Green. And speaking of Stan Green, Director Spence has a few photos that he'll queue up about Stan. But one of the things I talked to Stan about was just the nostalgia of the place as a whole and how we as kids came up here to watch the 88 team and just – inspired us to want to be part of the legacy so thinking about your history here you know you were my position coach as a player 25 years ago how is that reflected on you from a leadership standpoint well, I, I think i you know you this facility is is unique to community college football um the fan base is unique to community college football um and having said that you know i have memories as a player playing against Bakersfield College we played in here twice and then as an opposing coach played in in here a few times and um you know the the atmosphere is second to none um I I just I have a lot of great memories you know as a player uh, we lost both times but as a as an opposing coach we had some great great battles in here and um and then as an assistant coach and uh there's just this this place is unique and uh the atmosphere is you know is second to none um you know i i, I 2012 when we came at, came out of our locker room and we're going to get ready to kick it off against San Francisco City um you know it just was an amazing experience to kind of uh bring back some of the memories that I had as a player and as an uh, and as a coach opposing coach um you know I've, I've I've seen this thing as a spectator I remember watching Bakersfield High play Bishop Amont oh yeah. we played down at Glendale and came back and you know they played here on a Saturday night oh yeah it was, it was and there was packed house 20 some thousand here and you know I uh, 1990 when BC played tap. There was twenty something thousand. It was a live TV, twenty something thousand, you know, in the stadium. And so, um, we've had a lot of. I've had a, a lot of great experiences, memories. You know, my kids have got to experience a lot of that as young, younger, younger children. Um, so that's pretty cool when you can. Uh, you know, you're at a place where, uh, for us, obviously, football is important, and it's been a huge part of uh, not just my life but you know my family's life too so um, it's been awesome and like I said 2012 was a great experience I was here for uh, not just for 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 the guys on the field San Francisco you know I, I talked to uh, on occasion every now and again you know their old head coach and George Rush and he and he just said you know it wasn't just a great experience for just the Bakersfield College players it was a great experience for their guys as well and 90 percent of those guys on the field on both sides of the team even though we we both had guys going to a lot of places you know that it was a, probably the best experience they'll ever have and uh i know from a community standpoint it was really a uh rallying point too but it's been this this place is unique for sure and i'm glad to see you know that uh although you know natural grass is if you can figure out how to keep it growing it's a keep it it's green. a beautiful thing <laughs> but as you can see um maybe this it's time has passed here and uh, um you know this field turf is going to be something uh really to uh 
put a nice stamp on on what what this facility is all about, and it's going to really showcase, I think, uh, the the sheer genius of these guys building a facility like this. And so, you know, we're we're lucky to, that it's going on and it's going to happen. I mean, we've talked about it for quite a while, and it's been a hearsay. You know, rumor has it, and now it's here. And I think it's just going to really do a lot for for uh, this, you know, great venue for sure. Absolutely. So it's going to be a, a sweet thing, and and the track will make it. Well, it just it'll make it clean. It'll be really a clean setup. Well, be, being a former track guy, you know, my first track meet was here as a as a ten year old. You know, and just yeah. like you talked about traveling through those legacies. I played here in front of 27,000 in high school before I was ever a, a renegade football player and thinking about guys like Stan Green when they won the national championship. Yeah, I was here at that game you know, in 88. Yeah, definitely. I was uh, here with uh, a couple college coaches. Um, yeah, I think, and then, you know, with what we're doing with this facility, it's going to enable us to really uh, get people back up here in terms of uh, hosting events that aren't just in our season of sport, but really I think you'll see this become more of a year-round facility where we have um, groups coming in from outside just BC, which is what we want. We want people coming up to the college. We want people to, you know, we want to be able to showcase what we have going on. And obviously there's a lot of stuff going on, you know, from now until uh, 2022, 23, when the, the, the new gym supposedly will be done in 2022. And, you know that thing supposedly starts next next summer, and um, I think the more that we can showcase what's up here, it's just going to be uh, it's going to be good for our community. But it's a well needed <laughs> replacement for o sure. It's, overdue. This right? thing is tired. This grass. <laughs> well, we got I Jeremy Stock. We got Jeremy Stock coming in. You know, as we see a few uh, shots from the national championship team of 1988, we had Stan Green in our first session. But Jeremy's going into the Hall of Fame this spring, you know, which is a great, exciting thing for me being his teammate through 60 of his wins. You know, watching him be highlighted, that's going to be fantastic. And thinking about all the players that you coach, you're not on social media, Coach, but I am. Yeah. So I get, I get all the – the the back and forth from players about their one on one battles. This week was a trail snipes and Kenny Graham talking about who was the best and <laughs> who did what. And then uh, Coach Paul chimed in about how when you chewed out uh, Ryan Ibarra one day and it was the most classic chew out session wow. <laughs> in history. So as we talk about those things, you know, without even being around the stadium, we carry that nostalgia with us. And it follows us for decades. For sure. No, this this is like I think I think when we started off the segment, I, I said this is a completely unique uh, place. You know, from the from what we have here going on here, from from a community college standpoint, is we are not the norm, and it is unique, and we are a place that builds memories, and um, where most places aren't. So that our guys. Um, that come here, stay connected here, even though they might move on and not move back. Um, it's just a, it's a place that uh, is certainly unique to um, the community college level, and we're just, you know, we're lucky to be around. It's Absolutely. a beautiful place. Absolutely. Well, Coach, you know, more than anything, I like to talk about your leadership in my life. I know you hate hearing this kind of stuff, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't let you get away with, you know, without knowing how your tough love, your no-nonsense approach to making us understand to be accountable for things that we can do better helped us not only be better players, but better dads. Yeah. Your, your wife was my son's kindergarten teacher oh, yeah. at planned school, and now yeah. next week I get to go and fly and watch him graduate from AIT training and become a military police officer based on some of those leadership values that you instilled in me that I was able to pass down to my own kids. So, Coach, you never underestimate the impact you've had on your players. Well, I think, you know, the game certainly is, uh, if you're trying to do it right, the game of football really presents those opportunities. Not so much, it's not so much what your, uh, the, the field part of it all, it's what, what comes after post-football. And I think that's, you know, we, we really try to strive to, 
make sure that that's an important quality that is in uh, the forefront of what we're doing, you know, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Absolutely. Uh, those things called life skills are pretty important, right? Absolutely. Accountability, trust, you know, commitment. Sometimes we just, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. Everybody's, I'm, I'm going up to Fresno State to watch those guys practice tomorrow and Saturday. Got to yes. continue to grow as a coach, and um, I think that's what the we're our, we're all about. You know, yeah, we're, we're growing every day, right? Absolutely. Just want you to know that I'm continuing to grow as well. So perfect. You know, with that being said, I want to thank the man who put the cleats in my hand. <laughs> have faith in I'm me. Glad. I'm glad I didn't have to help you put that uniform on. <laughs> oh, you should have seen me and Pete struggling today, but. <laughs> Coach, you're geared up though. No, I, I'm, I, I still got the nice you. Nike cleats and brand new uni and the styling socks. Coach, I can still give you about wow. a good seven reps. That's about <laughs> it. Just seven. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, this has been Kenny Calvin, last of the Bowser, Bowser boys, first of the Grider game, former general in Chudy's Army, and always an honor to have my coach, Jeff Chudy. Excited to see what we're going to do for the next season. We'll be right back after the break with my teammate and co-captain, Jeremy Stott, right after this.